Now at Christmas, we need something really good to start and something really good to finish. That's logical, isn't it? You know, we have our ham on the bone and we have our turkey and we have all those kind of things. But we do need something a little bit special. Now this Christmas ice cream pudding, which I'm just gonna whip up, which you have to put in the freezer overnight, is a bit of fun. It's simple, it's tasty, it's all those things. Half a cup of mixed dried fruit. I had a bit of trouble coming up with all the different dried fruits for this because I normally use some crystallized pineapple, things like that. Couldn't find them, went everywhere in the world. So what I've got here is some dried peaches. I've got some maraschino cherries, cranberries, which are done in blueberry juice. So that's all right. I've also got some chocolate bits, quite a few of those, and some Grand Marnier. So that'll help. That'll fix it anyway. But as I said, I've normally made it using some crystallized things like pineapple and peaches and mango. For some reason, don't know, times have changed. They don't seem to have it. Now, this is the simplest thing in the world because to what I then add to that is some ice cream. Now you can, you can add some fancy pants ice cream. I've made it with Turkish Delight ice cream and all those kind of things, but it's pretty near as good just with a normal vanilla. So you soften the vanilla a bit and add a liter of that to our mixture. You could also, you know, when I talk about not getting my crystallized fruit, you could add some fresh pineapple chopped really finely and some fresh mango, couldn't you? Because you're only leaving it in the freezer overnight sort of thing. So you could do that. Coming up with all the great ideas, aren't I? So now we just mix that together and we'll have a taste once we've done that, just to see that it does work. But I do remember years ago, I gave this, well, I didn't give the recipe, I gave the idea out on radio, one of the top radio stations. And I said, oh, I'm sure they've got the recipe, which they didn't have. They blocked up the radio station for about three hours trying to get the recipe. So it is a popular dish because it's so simple and it really is rather tasty. But just make sure that you mix it in well and you don't want the ice cream completely melted, but you do want it soft. And then we'll just have a taste. Mmm. I like that. It's really good. And what I normally do is serve this with some really nice fresh berries because Christmas, of course, is the berry time. But it goes into a bowl, which I have lined with cling wrap. And then I spread it out like that and cover it with another bit of cling wrap. The thing that's good about this, I'm just making it with a litre. You can double it, triple it, whatever. If unlike me, you've got more than two friends. <laughs> oh, I like my jokes. They're terrible, aren't they? So make sure that that cling wrap's down flat on it so that when I pull it out, it'll be easy. Right, so that is my dish for afterwards and I'm just gonna put that in the freezer and I will pull it out when we're ready to go. Now, to start, my young brother, who always comes to Christmas at my place, keeps pestering me about this recipe for the smoked salmon pate, which he loves. He thinks it's an absolute ripper, and it actually is a ripper, to be honest. And what I've got here is I've got some blinis. Now these are from a company called Ocean Blue, and you can buy them Woolworths, Coles, any of those kind of places. I'm sure IGA. And we're just gonna, I'm getting a bit excited here. Got about four million of the bloody things, but they are really nice. Otherwise, just some nice croots, you know, some nice bread, which you've rubbed with olive oil and cooked until it's golden and wonderful and all those kind of things but they just need to go in the oven and they really are very, very nice. Once they're warmed, as I said, this is for my young brother, Tim, who is very keen on this and I am too. So it's a sort of a smoked salmon pate, I suppose you'd call. About 150 grams of good Australian smoked salmon, 250 grams of mascarpone, which you can buy at any deli these days. In the old days, they most probably would have used cream cheese or Philly or something. Soft filly. I prefer mascarpone. It's got a bit of a kick to it, which I far prefer. Three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, a bit of a squeeze of lemon, and a tablespoon of horseradish, just creamed horseradish. And if you're feeling really fancy, you could put some chives or something in it. I'm not feeling really fancy, so we're not going to. Right, we're looking pretty good here. Let's just have a little taste. I've got a teaspoon there, just in case it needs a bit of seasoning, because it does depend on salmon itself. Ah, that's a delish. Absolutely delish. I've talked about being a bit fancy pants. If you're feeling really fancy pants, 
some nice Australian salmon caviar on the top would be beautiful. Gee, it's good stuff. Now my brother Don, my older brother, who was out last year from France where he lives these days, is pretty keen on this as well. Not maybe, not quite as much as Tim, even though they both sort of really got into it because they love this. He um, is a champagne expert. He's one of the first non-Frenchmen ever to be the president of the French Champagne Academy. And he's very keen on champagne. And he said to me, that would be the most perfect dish with champagne. I mean, Don even has his own label. When I say his own label, his own label of champagne. And beer cart's one of his favorites. So I thought, that's what we do. We would open a little half bottle of beer cut and he gave me some champagne glasses. Look at that glass, isn't that beautiful? So I've got my smoked salmon pate, I've got my beer cut pink. All we need is our blinis, which won't be long. And do remember that I've got that lovely ice cream pudding coming up tomorrow. All right, guys, I've made my starter for my young brother, Tim, which is, of course, a beautiful salmon pate, which we've talked about, but I've also made this really nice Christmas ice cream pudding, which is a bit of fun. And of course you can have a plum pudding, but it's winter, isn't it? Plum pudding's for winter. So in Australia, I reckon this ice cream pudding is absolutely perfect. Of course, I'm biased, <laughs> particularly with some really, really nice berries. I've got raspberries, I've got blueberries, and I've got some black currants. And I'm putting some Grand Marnier, which is optional. You don't need to do that. But I like a bit of booze on it. It's Christmas. And then around the edges. Now, I have to be very honest. I know the show, and we've discussed this. I know the show is for one or two, but I got a bit excited. So I'm gonna have to invite some friends over, aren't I? You know, you could do some stone fruit like peaches or something. You know, the things that are really nice and in season. But I think the berries go particularly well. I'm going to put some icing sugar because I do think with berries you always need some icing sugar. And my wife was saying just the other day that she felt that the berries need a bit of sweetness. So I did what my mother used to do and I mixed them with icing sugar and left them for half an hour. So they were beautiful. She was very impressed. She isn't always impressed by some of my, my, old, my old culinary tricks, but she was with that one. And if you can find some holly, that would be nice on top of that. And what I'm going to do now, this would drive my brother Don, the champagne man, completely mad, because what I'm gonna serve with that is some Moscato. A Moscato, I'm sorry. And it's in a can. I think it's a bit of fun. I really do. And Moscato is a nice sweet wine that goes, goes well with the dessert, doesn't it? And it, the can, I think, is funny. As I said, I, I, don't, I think he'll stick to his bee cart, but you and I can have some Moscato to go with that. That's my beginning and end of my Christmas feast. A lot of fun, very tasty, and you know what the best thing is? Very simple. <laughs>